Hello you two. Today is going to be a fourth day in the life of the Nip Nip Geck Lord. So today's day of the Nip Nip Geck Lord's life begins by planting a many a many nip nips. The goal is to get a uh, very very close to three thousand nip nip from one single farm. Due to the fact that bases can only have three thousand building parts total, that will not quite be possible due to the fact that we need like uh two hundred microbiomes in this farm to make three thousand. So unfortunately it's it's not going to end up being quite a 3,000 nip nip farm, but that is not even the beginning of our troubles! Uh, first things first, here I am deleting bases. I ran into a uh, limit reach for all building. Any base can't build anymore. So I've uh, been deleting bases. As you can see here, I went to the uh, Atlas, or not the Atlas, the uh, Anomaly. And I'd go to the base, I'd delete it, and then I'd travel back. And that's just how it would go. Uh, and I did this in order to allow me to plant more Nip Nip, because I only got about a thousand in before I reached my limit. Uh, and uh, I do believe our total is like 11,000 Nip Nip per harvest of all of our farms. And we need about 20,000 Nip Nip per harvest of all of our farms. And we're not allowed to build any more farms because our limit is reached so we will get on into this in a bit the nip nip Gek lord does have a solution he does know higher up people to talk to uh but as you can see our base deleted planters peak guys the nip nip Gek lord just deleted his glass farm in order to plant more and nip nip this is some dedication power so as you can see here though more nip nip planting it is just so glorious to watch all of the beautiful nip nip buds go down i just i just love to see them all go into the microbiodomes it's just insane to see how much nip nip you really can fit in one single biodome uh to the use of this microbiodome and microhydroponic tray technology uh also this required 60,000 facium to make uh which by the way my facium farm was nowhere near 60,000 uh, it took a few days of harvesting that every few hours just to actually get to the facium. I ended up boosting it and upgrading it, but I ended up deleting it just so that I could build this farm. I couldn't even plant like two plants in this farm before I reached limit reasons. And as you can see here now, this is the other annoyance. Base not uploadable because only 3,000 parts are available. I would like more nip nip. So it looks like all of the flares that we have built here, and I had already skimped on them and already could cut corners to make them exist anyway. All of our flares and decoration are gone for the sake of more yield from this farm. Yield is key, especially since we have reached the building limit capacity. However, all hope is not lost. Once again, in a bit, we will get on into my solution to continuing to build these farms in this same here system making a one system harvest for a billion credits in one single harvest that is what i want to see that is what i want to do and that is what we are going to do but as you can see we had to delete the entire landing pod area we even had to remove all of the storage containers in the end just to be able to even use this base just to be able to upload the base so that anybody could use it we had to delete the landing pad this base had to go bare bones that's why i don't usually build a 3000 plant nip nip farm however i did decide to build one just to show you look yes they do work but you are going to have a problem with harvesting regularly having no storage containers at the base you will have to harvest this farm first before you harvest any of the other farms however we might not get to harvest this farm after uh, its first harvest for quite some time actually so as you can see here though this is going to be our current harvest this will be the last harvest we are doing for a while the gecko lord has come up with a solution to being able to build more in this system while still being the gecko lord and once again let's get this harvest done we have left the freezing of the g-force now ultimate it freezes g-force now ultimate need i say more 719 nip nip from one single button click right there so wonderful here's the second one harvest look at all of that nip nip this is glorious i do believe the total here was actually closer to about 2.7 thousand nip nip but Due to the fact that you can't actually ever build a true 3000 plant nip nip farm without it just being a field and you glitch place them. You could do a glitch placed field and plant 3000 nip nip that way. However, this is not requiring the glitch field and it's also, uh, well, it's the closest thing is you're going to get to large scale nip nip farms when it comes to legitimacy. But 
As you can see here, 2.7 thousand nip nip. You don't see the full total there because the 719 disappeared because it's a decently long hallway. Sort of took that into account. Future farms will be taking that into account. But as you can see here, a glorious 2000 nip nip. I had to have my full starship inventory cleared out, a good portion of my freighter, and a good portion of my exosuit in order to harvest this. If you go in here not having enough storage, it will bite you in the butt. But as I said, the Gecklord's taking one last look at his Gecklord HQ as well as collecting the glyphs and the galaxy being the Euclid galaxy so that he may venture off into his plan here. So the Gecklord has decided he's going to go speak to the Atlas himself and ask the Atlas some help for how to continue to build his Nip Nip farms. He has heard of travelers in the past exceeding beyond their vessel's limits so to the atlas it is so a quick starship trip and the Gek lord is flying straight for the atlas at least a atlas to speak to the atlas to see if maybe there is any solution to this whole build limit issue here and flying into the atlas now the Gek Lord is hopeful, but is kind of worried if he is not able to gain help from the Atlas and he will not be able to make his 1 billion credits in one single harvest from all of his farms in one single system. Uh, possible, which is terrible and the Gek Lord will not have it, so to the Atlas we go straight to the main guy. We gotta talk to the Atlas. Let's go ahead and see what exactly it is that the Gek Lord said to the Atlas and maybe even what perhaps the Atlas may have done to aid the Gek Lord, or perhaps kind of aid the Gek Lord. But no matter what the Atlas decides to do, we have the glyphs to our system in case the Atlas throws us out a space window or something and we go into like a million systems away. No problem, we'll portal back. What's the problem? Anyway, so here is the Gek Lord walking up to the Atlas now, just about to speak to the Atlas. The Atlas is going to... The conversation is going to begin like this. So, normal greeting, the Gek Lord obviously says, It is I, the Gek Lord. I've built a mini Nip Nip Farms, the most in all the systems. However, it seems my current path has reached a stop. I've been watching you, young Gek. You've impressed me. The Atlas. I already know what it is you wish to find. You seek to build beyond your current vessel's limits. There is a way. However, you will have to begin new and find your system once more. Then you may continue to build mighty Nip Nip farms. Do you agree? Yes or no?